Every time we've installed a package with JSR, it's been placed into this dino.json file as an import. So we can use this file to manage our dependencies, but we can also use it for a bunch of other configuration tasks. Specifically, to get us started, let's configure some literal tasks. We're going to create a start task. This will run dino allow net main.ts. So think of this like a shortcut for running a command. So we could say dino task start. This is going to run that. Same with dino run start. That will work as well. Let's add another one of these. We're going to call it format. So this will combine these two different things. We'll say dino format and dino lint. So let's clear that out. We'll run dino task format and then this will run everything for us. You can also use this file to set configuration for these types of commands. So we could say FMT and then use a couple different rules. So the formatting in the documentation here will walk you through it. There are several different options that you can take advantage of. Let's go ahead and say use tabs and we'll say true here. And then we'll use line width 80. Now if we run Dino, task format. This will run everything with those rules. Linting you can set up as well. So we'll say lint. This is also in the documentation right above this. So linting here will take you on the journey of all the different configuration options depending on your project's needs. But in this case, let's add a key for rules here. And you can include them, you can exclude them. Let's say at TS ignore. And we won't add any comments after it. This is a rule that's going to, if I add this to the top of any file, the intended behavior in a project, it's going to make sure that TypeScript just ignores any of the types that are in this file. So it doesn't matter if it adheres to the rules. But if I run Dino task format again, this is going to tell me, hey, you can't do that. You can't ignore these files without comment. This is one of those rules, but we know where to find a way out of that trap, which maybe you don't wanna find a way out, but I'll show you how anyway. We'll say ban hyphen TS hyphen comment. Then we'll try to run the same command again. We should see that that runs appropriately and we're getting away with our TS ignore. There's also a concept in this dino.json file of the import map. So right now we're using Eve Porcello slash sing as the import, but it's also possible to make this a little bit shorter. We could use just sing for this. Now, if we replace this whole thing with just sing and we run dino main.ts, this should work as expected. So this is what's called a bare specifier. It's an import map, which is going to map this particular dependency to this JSR package. So it just allows for a nice clean import if we'd like to. If you want to learn more about all these different options, check out the docs here on configuration. Dino also supports a package JSON for compatibility with Node.js projects. Now, if both a Dino.json and a package JSON are both found in the same directory, Dino will understand the dependencies specified in both. So a lot of options here, but this is going to be extremely useful as you work on your Dino projects.